my adoptive father had never adopted me. I don't know what kind of life I would have had if these two wonderful, wonderful individuals had never come and picked me up. I mean, she tells me every day, and I just wanted to know this. I want both of them to know this. I would, I right now am, I am the luckiest person. I am the luckiest person in the world to have a mother and a father like these two. I don't know where in this world I would be. I'd probably be dead somewhere right now. I honestly don't know. My real mother, she doesn't, she never really was there for me. She had five kids, couldn't take care of us all. My real father loved her because she just didn't want to do anything for us. My grandmother, before she passed away, God bless her heart and God bless my grandparents' heart on my father's side. Grumpy and Arlene. <laughs> I mean, his real name was Grumpy, but we, we lovingly called him Grumpy because he, he had cerebral palsy, but he, he was the greatest grandfather that I've ever had, besides Howard Hall, her father. He was, those two were the best grandfathers I've ever had, including his dad. Well, how many have you had? He's had four. Grandpa Z, Grandpa Becky, Grumpy. The first, grand, the first grandfather I lost was my grandfather, Clay. He was a great man. I never really knew him all that well, but he was a very maternal grandfather. He was a very kind man from what I've heard. Um, God bless my grandma, Glucky. She's almost, she's reaching, um, she's a widow. And God bless her heart, she has to live with my little youngest cousin, James, who is a horrible troublemaker. <laughs> I mean, he really is, but, you know, she's had two knee replacements, she's had her hips replaced, she can barely walk around, and you know, this picture here, hold that up. This you gotta picture, get your visual. This picture, I will treasure this for the rest of my life. I will treasure that picture for the rest of my life, you know? But, where would I be right now? Let's all ask ourselves this question. Where would we be if these two had never come? Where would be we all and where be would right we now? Be without our own loved ones at home. Yeah, where would we be without <laughs> all those Let's people? Let's not really go that deep. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just ask yourselves, where would you be without my parents? I know where I would be. I'd probably be dead right now. I didn't have a real family, to be exact, when I was younger. When I was born, I didn't have a real family. I didn't have a father. I had a mother, but I was taken from her because she could not hold a job at all. Your parents were married years before you were born. They've had five kids. Two of my younger sisters, which I had just met. One who doesn't even want to go to high school, get an education. The other who's in her teenage years, attending MSC. And to be honest, I think she will be the only other child in my birth family that will graduate college. I am the first to graduate college. Neither of my parents graduated high school, my birth parents, neither of them graduated high school. My older sister and I, we broke that. We both graduated high school, and then I went on to college where she, my older sister, did not. My younger sister right now is in Manatee, Manatee School of the Arts, doing a wonderful, having a wonderful life. And up until two years ago, my, both of my younger sisters and I were all adopted. By different parents, not us. And yeah. to be honest, my younger sister is not happy with where she is right now with her adopted father, who is a literal, who is the embodiment of these words, control freak. So you can thank God that you don't have control for your dad. You know, I'm just grateful to be alive and to have such wonderful parents. I may have my moments where I lash out in anger, but you know, everything I've ever said to them in anger, I've, they were all empty words. What are words without meaning? <laughs> exactly. It's just something to laugh at. They're empty words. And I just want them to know that I really do care about them. I love them. I, I don't want to lose them ever. And you know, 
I don't know what I would be doing or how I would even survive in this world without them. Ready? Yeah. Waiting for the violins to kick in with the piano. <laughs> that made it seem more. more <laughs> that would have really just. Yeah. <laughs> okay, KK, I got you too. Yeah. <laughs> we got each other now. <laughs> Don't let that one get away. He's a little on the limp side. Here's for our veteran. No, oh, cool. Thank you, Jenda. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's going back. There's my, uh, what is it? All of the veterans. Oh, yeah. There you go. Cool. No, I got you smile. Hi, Becca. <laughs> I'm filming. I'm not uh, shooting photos. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Grace? Yeah, I've been like, <laughs> were you taking pictures before them? No. You were uh, taking I took pictures. some, yes, but I... Because I want to give you some in case you have them. Because okay. Yeah. I'm going to like, stop you know the recording done? now. Yeah. <laughs> Can you send me? If I give you my card, would you send me? 